awake if that's what you're getting at. You gotta watch it though. I almost fell back asleep for good just now. And when I say for good, I, I mean I almost went to meet dad on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> wow, you mean I was so good you almost went to heaven? Anyway, breakfast is ready, so hurry down, okay? I'm Sakamachi Kinjiro, and believe it or not, this is a perfectly normal morning for me. As for the rest of the day, well, fate has something interesting in store for me. That's a lot of tomatoes. Thanks for helping me out this morning with my training, by the what? way. What morning training? You're in the Handicraft Club! The Handicraft Club is pretty hardcore, you know. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Our captain can split concrete blocks with a single thrust of her finger! School's just started, and you've already found a bunch of weirdos to hang out with. We're planning to go camping during our Golden Week vacation. We're gonna rough it out in the wild for three whole days! Sorry, but I think your club is having an identity crisis. You know, I've always wanted to wrestle a bear, so this should be a perfect opportunity! Don't do it. You won't survive. What? I'll be fine. Didn't you read the last letter Mom sent us from India? She said she fought a tiger. No problem. Yeah, well, that's Mom. You're not like her. In other words, I mean, you're a human, not a super monster. The reason why she's training abroad is because she's so strong, and she couldn't find anyone to fight. Of course she's wrestling tigers. That's why I gotta train extra hard before she comes home so I don't end up looking weak. Anyways, I'm off to school! <sighs> Kanoi, huh? Here, my lady. This way. Kanoi Subaru. There probably isn't a single person at this school that doesn't know his name. He's crazy popular with the girls, but not only that. How kind of you. He's also Suzuki Kanade's butler. Man, I'm jealous. That's one lucky guy, huh? Being Kanade's butler must be totally sweet, right? It's kind of odd that we even have butlers in this day and age, so I seriously doubt mm -hmm. she needs to. Especially since she's just a high school girl. She's not just a high school girl. She's the most beautiful girl in the school. And her parents own the Suzuki group. Okay, but bringing a butler to school is still overkill. <laughs> Here you are. My lady, would you mind waiting downstairs? I'd like to take a moment to pick a few flowers. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. Okay, I get it. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, Sakamachi, you've got some lint. <sighs> oh. Oh. Uh, I thought so. Kurose, get the lint! Ugh. You like dudes, don't you? What? No way! You don't talk to girls in class and you avoid them like the plague. Makes sense that rumors would start. If you hate the ladies so much, logic would state that you're into dudes. It's just a plain and simple fact, Mr. Sakamachi Kinjiro. Don't use my full name. You're not my mom. I saw you looking at Subaru with that twinkle in your eye. You can't hide it. The guy's got a dazzling life, okay? A boring guy like me can't help but be impressed. We used to look at lingerie catalogs and pick out our future girlfriends. What happened? I'm going to the bathroom! Huh? Huh? I'm sorry. I had a revelation! A love story where the characters meet by chance and somebody gets their glasses knocked off! I have to write that down. Oh? Oh? Oh, I'm safe. Oh, oh, my stomach hurts. Must be the tomatoes. Kanoi Subaru? Uh, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I didn't know anyone was in here. The lock's broken, I guess. Why is Kanoi wearing girls' underwear? Maybe his ancestors were cursed by a demon, and now all their descendants are forced to wear panties forever. Maybe not. I don't know. He's probably just a weirdo. 
Well, who am I to judge someone for their hobbies? It's fine. I need to respect his privacy, that's all. At the end of the day, everyone has their secrets. But I'm shocked. A good student who's good at martial arts and has good looks. Under that brilliant facade, Panty. You saw it, didn't you? Sakamachi Kinjiro. <laughs> you can't hide from me. I know who you are. It seems the cat's got your tongue, so I'll ask you once more. Just now, you saw my underwear. Uh, well, well, who can say what I saw, really? Huh? You clearly saw it, and yet you're still denying it? Just relax and be honest here. I know you saw it. You probably burned the image deep into your memory. Admit it, you opened that door because you wanted to see my underwear. Why the hell do you think I want to see your underwear? Sure, I have my taste, but they do not include dudes in silly cat panties sitting on toilets. I'm sorry my panties don't meet your exacting tastes. So how did you know my panties had a cat on them? <laughs> huh. Calm down. Silence, pervert. It's over. Your human rights have been revoked. I figured you were a pushover, but not just anyone can take a hit like that without passing out. I'm quite impressed. Thanks to my messed up family, I've been taking punches like that since I was five years old. Spare me your life story. I want to end this quickly, so I have no choice but to go all out. Huh? Now that you know my secret, I've been put into a bad position. Therefore, you must be erased. <laughs> Perhaps I said that wrong. It's not your life that I'm erasing, just your memory. My family has a memory erasing technique that's been passed down for generations. How's that work exactly? First, I'm gonna hit you. Then I'm gonna keep hitting you until the memory goes away. That is the butler memory erasing technique. You'll kill me? Also, what does that have to do with being a butler? Relax, it'll be over soon. You'll just black out and once you come to, you'll be in a hospital bed and you'll scream, where am I? Who am I? Just a little brain damage, not a big deal. Damn it! There's no choice. What? You're fighting back? Well, unfortunately, I don't like getting hurt. You ready? Ready for what? Me running away! What? Uh, uh, get back here! <laughs> Fight like a man! If you do, I'll use my butler's sympathy technique and finish you off in one blow! <laughs> Oh, why me? You're finished! I commend your courage. But this time I'll get you for sure. With the power of my butler knuckles! Just a little heads up. But you really suck at naming your moves, you know? Y you suck! Damn it! I've never been so humiliated in my life! Just for that, I'm gonna use my finishing move on you! I call it the end of it! That one sucks too! I mean, well, it's kind of overblown, don't you think? Uh, th shut up! Sorry, I shouldn't make fun of your finishing move. I mean, you probably put a lot of thought into naming it, didn't you? What? I is that pity? I did put a lot of thought into it, okay, you jerk? I thought it sounded awesome. <laughs> Whoa, that was cute. Oh man, maybe I'm into dudes after all. Huh? Look out! Uh. 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 What the? Those aren't pecs. Uh, uh, oh, girl. Uh, 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 I see. So that's why you are so cute. I like my cat panties. If you put your hand on the screen, you can give me a high five. Only not really. I'll kill you. Not only did you touch my breasts, you were so excited you got a nose. Is that what you think? It's like a medical condition! That's enough out of you!
I had the most horrible dream. Huh? Huh? What the hell? That's weird. Why is one of my arms free? Oh, I see you're up, Sakamachi. Hope the chains don't hurt too much. What? Huh? Everything's fine, Sakamachi. Your emergency operation was a success. Uh. Simply put, you're now a highly advanced cyborg. Say what? When you said operation, you meant cyborg surgery? That's right. You're no longer human. Why don't you yell out transform and see for yourself? Huh? For real? Okay, I'll try it. Trans... <laughs> what are you like five? Who does that? <laughs> You're such a dork. Hey, uh, Suzuki, can I ask you a question? <laughs> what is it, Sakamachi? Or is that too formal? Maybe I should call you Jiro like everyone else in our class. Whatever, either's fine with me. All right then, Jiro, it is. Now please ask away. So, uh. Were you the one who grabbed me and chained me to the bed? That's right, but be careful. If those restraints come off, then all of your demonic power will be unleashed. Yeah, right. I wish I was that cool. Now, next question. When I woke up, you were sleeping with me. What's up with that? Oh, is that a bad thing? Don't get any ideas. Since you can only use your left hand, it's not like you can have your way with me. Now, come on. What kind of person do you take me for? And wait a second. Where's the school nurse? She stepped out. After I slapped her with a wad of dough, that is. <laughs> You mean you bribed her? What's important is that you and I are the only ones here. And that means your life, or perhaps death, is in my hands. <laughs> now let's see, what should I do first? Burst your eardrum? <sighs> or maybe... <laughs> <laughs> I should castrate you. Wait a second! What do you want from me? It's not me so much. I'm not restraining you here because I want to, but I'm afraid I have no choice now that you've found out my butler's secret. <gasps> I thought so. You're a quick learner. But why is she going to school dressed up like a boy in the first place? It has to do with her family's circumstances. The boys from Subaru's family have served my family as butlers for many generations. However, Subaru was an only child and there was no one else who could take up the job. Of course, as a girl, we thought the tradition would end with her. But surprisingly, she begged her father to let her serve us. But my father, the school director, had a special condition. She must attend three years of school without anyone finding out she's a girl. If she can't do that, she won't be allowed to be a butler for the Suzuki family. Uh, then when I saw her, that... Correct. Because you discovered her secret, the agreement she made with my father has now been broken. Uh. So there you have it. Naturally, that's why she tried to silence you earlier. I'm sorry for this. She's my butler, so I'm responsible as well. Where is she now? <laughs> Are you worried about her? If you want to see her so badly, that can be arranged. Wait a second, what are you doing to her? Mom, the only reason I did this was because I thought you would enjoy it. That's a bit presumptuous, wouldn't you say? But guys are into that sort of naughty stuff, aren't they? This is neither the time nor the place to talk about my fetishes. If you're going to be such a poor sport, then should I unchain her? Obviously. All right, but no take backs. Just do it. Uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Mistress, how could you do that to me? I fail to find the humor at all. Please unchain me. I have business to attend to, like murdering this pervert here, for example. <laughs> now, now, huh? Subaru, no need to be hasty. You can kill him nice and slow. Whoa, whoa, hold on, no killing. Let me tell you something, Jiro. I was the one who saved you from Subaru's rampage in the science room. But who can say if I'll stop her next time or not? Get it? That's the sort of position that you're in right now. Uh, yeah, I'm hearing you loud and clear. What's that? I'm sorry, I, I don't think I understood you. Could you say that once more? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for saving my life, and please continue to do so if you'd be so kind. <laughs> She's a sadist if I've ever seen one. I doubt she'd be so popular if the guys knew what she was really like. That's not fair! This 
is no laughing matter, ma'am. My life is at stake here. Let me put an end to this beast and dispose of his body quickly. This is your fault. If you're gonna dress like a man, then why were you wearing panties, because stupid? Because underwear is too uncomfortable, and also that's gross. You could at least bind your chest, couldn't you? I normally do, but I just forgot today. <sighs> if I don't kill you, then I'll lose my job, you understand? You have another solution? I won't give up. I have to be Miss Kanade's butler no matter what, okay? Everything will be fine, Subaru. Uh, I'm not going to betray you. I know you want to keep your job, and I feel the same way. Why do you think I chained Jiro to the bed instead of letting him go? Huh? Uh, uh -huh. So, uh, what now? <laughs> Subaru told me a secret. She said something about your nose bleeding when she touched you in a so-called medical condition. So, Jiro, please tell us more about this fascinating trait of yours. And if you don't want to talk, that's fine, too. In that case, I'll just have to make your body speak for you. <gasps> hey! You better keep still. It would be a shame if I slipped and chopped up your internal organs. Don't even joke about that! You disgusting beast! How dare you flaunt your perversions in the presence of a lady! <laughs> I see. Uh, How uh, interesting. One simple touch from a girl and his nose bleeds all over the place, just like you said. Huh? Is it an allergic reaction? I've never seen anything like this before. <sighs> but then again, maybe it's not a medical condition at all and you're nothing but a chicken who's afraid to touch girls. <gasps> Tell me, is that it? Sakamachi Kinjiro? <laughs> Sakamachi Kinjiro, huh? Sakama, chicken, Jiro, perhaps. <laughs> Or just plain chicken. Ah! Oh, please don't call me a chicken! I can't stand it! A curse! Curse with a terrible chicken name that'll haunt me till the day I die! Come on, the X chicken. On my gravestone. Jiro. I don't need chicken coming from the both of you! But anyway, Jiro, if you really are afraid of girls, wouldn't you like to cure your phobia? Well, of course! In that case, perhaps I can help you out. Huh? In exchange, all you have to do is promise that you'll never tell anyone that Subaru is a girl. Because your life may depend on it. <laughs> if you keep this a secret, my father will never find out that we broke the rules and everyone will live happily ever after. The last part might be a stretch. Well, it's better than the alternative. So, do we have a deal or what? There's no deal. You're just making me your partner in crime. How lovely. I like the sound of that. So let's explore this criminal relationship of ours in all sorts of exciting new ways. And if I break the agreement? Well then, an unidentified body might show up in the Mount Fuji Sea of Trees a month or so from now. Okay, okay, I accept the offer. But, Kanoi, you're sure you're all right with this? Uh, mm. I've dedicated my life to serving Miss Kanade, so whatever she says is what I do. Besides, uh. well, mm, never mind. <laughs> that settles it. Oh, by the way, Jiro. What would happen if I kept touching you even after your nose bleeds? Huh? I, uh, I probably couldn't take it anymore. I'd end up passing out or something. Hmm. Then this is an experiment. If we're going to continue, I need to figure out exactly how much touching your body no, can withstand. No, stop it! <laughs> how can I stop if you keep making such cute noises when I touch you? Can I help me? I'm a butler, not a magician, you idiot. I couldn't get out of these handcuffs even if I tried. Hey, don't act like you're sleeping! <laughs> no, not there! <laughs> Big Brother! Wake up! I said get up! Ha! This morning was the same as always. But I knew that when I got to school, the true nightmare would begin. I'm off! See ya! Okay. If only for a moment, this house would be my haven. Good morning. Kanoi! What is this? I got drenched standing in front of your house in the rain, so your sister suggested I take a bath. Why are you at my house in the first place? Uh, it was an order for Miss Kanade. I need to keep you under surveillance, so you don't reveal my secret, I mean. Sasuke. That aside, you saw me naked, didn't you? Huh? That's too bad. Perhaps I need to reacquaint you with the memory erasing technique that my family's famous for. Taste my butler fury! Uh, uh. 
This is how it's gonna be from now on. I'll be dead from blood loss in a week.